Okay, we're all set. Thank you everyone for coming. We're very excited to have you all here. Um, and uh, thank you for joining in this virtual format. My name is Anika Green. I'm Assistant Vice Provost and in the Office of the Vice Provost for Graduate Education. And I'm also Director of the DARE Doctoral Fellowship Program. DARE is Diversifying Academia, Recruiting Excellence. I'm excited to have this opportunity this afternoon to celebrate all of our DARE Fellows with special attention to our incoming cohort. Uh, during this time of so much turmoil in the United States and abroad, this is a much needed time to recognize these fellows. They're already academic leaders and will continue to be powerful forces for good and progress. During this program, you'll hear remarks from Vice Provost Stacy Bent, Pro Provost Persis Drell, and each of the 22 members of our newest DARE Fellows. It's my pleasure to welcome our first speaker, Stacy Bent. Stacy is the Vice Provost for Graduate Education and Postdoctoral Affairs. She's also a professor of chemical engineering. Her remarks will be followed by, Pro by Provost Drell. Stacy, please begin. Great. Well, let me join Anika in welcoming the uh, DARE uh, fellowship recipients. So uh, as you heard, I'm, I'm Stacy Bent. I'm the Vice Provost for Graduate Education and Postdoctoral Affairs. And I really um, appreciate you coming to celebrate the 13th year of DARE and honor the 22 new fellows in our 13th cohort. And to the new fellows, we congratulate you on receiving this prestigious fellowship. Thank you for all that are here today, not just the fellows, but we also have family and friends, faculty and staff. You're all so supportive of our fellows and the program. And I'm gonna um, start with a few remarks and then I'll be followed by Provost Drell and then Anika Green, who you just heard from, who's the Assistant Vice Provost for Graduate Education and the Director of DARE is gonna in invite our fellows to introduce themselves. So for me, it's a genuine pleasure to be Vice Provost and to get the chance to deeply engage with DARE. I first became acquainted with DARE when I served as a mentor for a PhD student in another department and then I was thrilled when a PhD student in my own lab, Dara Bob Semple, received the fellowship in 2017. And Dara graduated um, just a few months ago and she's doing great. So it's really an inspiration to work with talented and passionate PhD students, especially at this point in their intellectual and personal development as they explore how they may pursue academic careers. So a little bit of history, DARE began as a pilot in 2008 over 10 years ago, and the timing was ideal both at Stanford and nationally back in 2008. And guess what? It's still ideal and still super important um, that we work together on this program. Stanford offers unprecedented support at every level, including at the highest university leadership. You see Provost Rell is um, here in supporting this program. We have an explicit commitment to enhance diversity and foster a more inclusive university community. DARE was created to address the national need to diversify the professoriate, and we're making a difference. We support outstanding PhD students, we inspire and prepare them for faculty careers, and we encourage them to draw on unique life experiences, identities, and talents to enhance the education of others. DARE works because we have exceptional students and the dedication of the entire university community. So thanks to all of you who are here um, to support and offer your time and advice to the fellows. So with the newest cohort of 22 fellows, that brings us to 256 fellows so far. 187 of them have already graduated and they're already nationally visible and making an impact. So let me just give you a little bit of um, some of the numbers on that. 65% of the DARE graduates are in the academic sector. Um, that includes 75 who are in tenure line faculty positions and 25 who are um, in postdoc positions. And we're frequently asked where the DARE alumni are. And so I encourage you to look at your electronic program as well as the map on the DARE website so you can see um, the great um, diversity of locations of our, um, of our fellows and our graduates. But let me just mention a few. So among the 75 who are um, in faculty positions, one's already been promoted to full professor, that's Deji Akinwande, who's in the EE department at UT Austin. 
and he's already received the um, a very prestigious and competitive fellowship known as PCASE, that's the Presidential Early Career Award for Science and Engineering. Six others are tenured and promoted to associate professor, including one who's also chair of her department, which is Chantal Marshall in psychology at Nevada State College. And um, just to mention a few of the locations, there's a very big list, but um, they include bioengineering at UC Berkeley, law at Georgetown, education at Santa Clara, religious studies at University of Arizona. Um, 25 are in prestigious postdocs in all kinds of um, places, including uh, ranging from uh, Harvard to MIT to University of Washington to Lawrence Livermore National Lab and here at Stanford as well. 21 others are in academic uh, positions that are essential to higher education missions, including here at Stanford, our Associate Vice Provost and also Director of the EDGE program, Chris Gonzalez-Clark is a DARE graduate, the director of DEI in the School of Earth, program manager in VPUE, and two who are academic advising directors. We're so inspired by the strength, the resilience, and the impact of the DARE fellows already. We can see how um, by participating in DARE, our fellows gain knowledge and insight into the personal, institutional, and societal challenges that many people experience. We have many examples among our fellows, our 256 fellows, who, while they're already succeeding as academics, are also contributing as transformational change agents now. They're committed to reimagining how our institutions can be ever more inclusive communities, and we need their leadership now more than ever. DARE fellows are an amazing group. They uniquely mix passion and courage to prepare for academic careers despite an uncertain future. So you may wonder why is it uncertain? Um, there are a number of unknowns when one goes forward to um, this career path. There's concern about academic jobs, especially you know, tenure line academic positions. There are questions and uncertainties about how economic and policy changes are going to affect the academic workplace and faculty roles in different academic settings, especially in public universities. But I wanna give a, a, a sense of optimism here um, there, uh, from my vantage point, the, the last economic recession actually saw an increase in funding for those in STEM. And we also know that uh, faculty searches have resumed at many institutions across the country um, already this year. So there are also uh, exciting opportunities to advance DEI that are really an outcome of our uh, current um, situation, particularly the pandemic. So there are changes in teaching, there are virtual formats, there's active learning, digital learning environments, changes in how we disseminate research and translate research into action. There are opportunities to mentor across generations and their service opportunities. And so the future of higher education, although uncertain, it really promises to be innovative for academic careers. So let me um, just address my remarks for a moment to the faculty and academic staff who are joining us here today. You know, the fellows need our help in thinking through options, as do all of our students and postdocs at Stanford. So talk to them about what's satisfying and what we love about what we do. They're listening and they're watching us and they are the future of higher education. So if we want them to choose higher education, we have to let them know why we did. Celebrations like this also remind us, all of us, students, faculty, and staff, that it's essential to imagine a future that's different from our past, to shift our mindset to the vast possibilities. Our DARE fellows are inspiring. On this day, as we welcome our new DARE cohort, we invite our fellows to join all of us to embrace our highest education ideals, to be lifelong learners, and to remember that we're part of something far greater. And we also invite our fellows to join us in learning together, learning how to be more inclusive in our teaching, research, and service, how to affirm and value difference in life experiences, perspectives, and identities, how to see that our unique vantage points are great educational assets, how to be humble, lifelong learners and teachers together, and how to recognize that when we deepen our dialogue and are inspired by our highest ideals, we can inspire future generations. Now faculty are central to this enterprise, of course. More than 300 faculty have invested in DARE so far. I wish I could say financially invested, but they've invested more, even more important, um, which is time, 
and mentorship and passion. So thank you faculty for aiding in many of the DARE program's core components. As you know, the DARE Fellowship is far more than a funding source. The fellows gain knowledge, they gain skills, they gain confidence so that they can hit the ground running in their faculty and professional careers. So again, to the faculty, thank you for your advice and support for our fellows. And the, as the fellows envision themselves as faculty, as I mentioned, they need your guidance. You are so essential to the fellows' success. So on behalf of the fellows and, and my staff, we, we all thank you. So you'll understand why DARE is one of the jewel programs at Stanford soon in the program when you meet our new fellows. They're exceptional. It's one of my favorite events every year at Stanford, which is to hear from the new DARE fellows. Um, and I'm sure you'll going, you're going to enjoy that um, with me as well. So these are individuals who embody many of our most cherished ideals and bold dreams. But before you meet our fellows, I would like to introduce Provost Persis Drell. She's been steadfast in her support and funding for DARE as she has been for all of our diversity initiatives. So please join me in thanking the Provost and welcoming her as she shares her congratulations. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you very much. And thank you for those lovely remarks. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here today to help celebrate the 13th cohort of DARE Fellows at Stanford. Congratulations to the 22 DARE Fellows of 2020 to 2022. Now, if this was a normal year, we would all be celebrating your achievements with an event at the Black Community Services Center. It would be very uh, warm and there would be lots of hugs. Um, but this is no ordinary year and we can't celebrate in quite that way, although I'd like to, to think we'll have some of that, that feeling on the Zoom call. Um, I, I wanna start by just recognizing that every single one of you is operating under extraordinarily difficult circumstances. The particulars will differ, differ among you, but there's no way that any of us is uh, totally immune to, to what is going on in the world around us. I applaud your commitment and determination to continue your important work at Stanford. As this year's DARE Fellows, as Stacy said, you now join the ranks of 256 scholars who have received DARE Fellowships since the program began in 2008. And in awarding these fellowships, we recognize your ability to succeed in academia and your potential to bring about much needed change, not only at Stanford, but to the larger landscape of higher education. It's a real pleasure for me to meet the new DARE Fellows every year. I'm always really impressed to hear about the diverse areas of research. As a provost, I have to say, it gives me a deep uh, pleasure, just pleasure and pride probably, to think about supporting and training the faculty of tomorrow. Uh, Throughout my career, I've, I've seen how a wide range of perspectives and experiences and approaches really enriches education and research and makes it better. Um, I, I also think that uh, diversity of our faculty is crucial to the mission of Stanford because an increasingly diverse student body needs to see themselves reflected in the faculty. And so from the, uh, the president and the board of trustees to the deans, directors, and chairs, the leadership at Stanford is very committed to advancing diversity and improving diversity, especially in the faculty sector. It is a big challenge. It is a national challenge. We focus on creating culture, a culture of inclusion, access, and equity that infuses all aspects of the university, including graduate education and faculty recruitment, development, and retention. Uh, through the Ideal Initiative and our racial justice efforts and through programs like DARE, we have an opportunity to put into practice the change we would like to see in the world. So I, I want you to understand that DARE was purposely created in recognition that change must occur within the professoriate at Stanford and in the academy nationwide. Today's graduate students are tomorrow's faculty. It's important we can do, we, we do all we can 
to support those who have a desire to contribute to teaching and learning, who will bring diverse voices, experiences, and approaches to our campuses, to higher education in general, and will transform our future in higher education. After 13 years of the D.A.R.E. program, as Stacy said, we're starting to see real effects. There are ripple results, ripple effects as D.A.R.E. alumni can be found in academic positions and leadership roles across the U.S. and beyond. Change may be slow, but it is happening. D.A.R.E. fellows, you, every one of you on this screen, you represent the promising future of higher education in this country. You, you on this screen, you are all superstars and no doubt will be highly sought after as faculty members. You have the power to bring change to whatever institution you become party, part of, to whatever institution is lucky enough to attract you. And as faculty, you will be the ones to decide the path higher education will take in the future. Here at Stanford, we want to encourage and support you in this step of your journey. Before I close, I'd like to take a minute just to acknowledge all those who support the fellows, including the faculty, the administrators, and especially family members and friends. Graduate school can be extremely challenging. We all had our moments in graduate school. And I do think the current set of world circumstances makes it even more challenging in this particular moment. And so those support networks are essential. So to all of you here on Zoom today who helped sustain the D.A.R.E. Fellows, thank you for all you've done to help them get to this point in their academic careers. And thank you for the support you will continue to give them during their fellowships. Finally, I want to also acknowledge Vice Provost for Graduate Edu Education, Stacy Bent, for her commitment and all the work she is doing to support Stanford graduate students. I want to acknowledge Anika Green, who directs the D.A.R.E. program. And I would like to acknowledge all the staff and faculty advisors who support D.A.R.E. Fellows and the program broadly. So D.A.R.E. Fellows, once again, I offer my congratulations, my best wishes for a great experience in the program. I deeply, sincerely hope that you choose to become the professors of tomorrow and our future leaders in higher education. I also hope that your example will be an inspiration to others. We need you. I wish you all success. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Persis and Stacy, for your inspiring remarks and for your steadfast support for D.A.R.E. We have obviously the new fellows who are joining us here today and also D.A.R.E. fellows from prior cohorts. Some um, are focused on finishing their dissertations and planning for life after the PhD. Others are finished and working here at Stanford or at other universities. Fellows, we are all very proud of your continued success. I'd like for you now to imagine that we're all together in the Black House, as Persis mentioned, and we're all in person giving you a big round of applause. Um, now it's time to honor our newest D.A.R.E. Fellows. We affectionately refer to the cohorts by D for D.A.R.E. and then their cohort number. So this is our 13th cohort, so they're the D13s. As is the case every year, the selection process was highly competitive. We received applications from PhD students across 40 departments in all seven schools. They were very impressive, so difficult decisions had to be made. They were asked to write personal statements describing their educational journeys and goals, include how they aim to diversify the professoriate. Uh, most applicants highlighted life experiences with many di dimensions of diversity including, but certainly not limited to, race, ethnicity, nationality, first-gen, low-income, gender, and sexual orientation. 
Writing these personal statements were much different than other fellowship applications. They required deep personal reflection. They wrote about how their experiences and identities shaped their pathways so far and how they intend to draw on their experiences to enhance the education of others. They were also asked to submit a letter of recommendation from their faculty advisor. Many applicants met with their advisor in advance to explain their interest in DARE and it was an opportunity to reveal, and in some cases reveal for the very first time, why diversity, equity, and inclusion matters to them, to talk about their work engaging in these issues as graduate students and their hopes for the future. These conversations require great vulnerability and courage. Given the 13 years of DARE, we estimate around 1,300 doctoral students from 60 departments in all seven schools who stepped up and taken this risk. So even in applying, they've already helped faculty deepen their understanding of diversity across Stanford. To our 22 new fellows, and as a reminder of fellows from previous cohorts, we selected you because of what you do and who you are. You are extraordinary and we're honored to support you. And you, we are diversifying academia and recruiting excellence. You are already very accomplished and an inspiration for all of us. Please remember that you are talented leaders, you are change agents, and valued members of this community and society more broadly. Remember this, especially when you encounter challenges, which are all a part of this journey of life. We believe in you, and we're certain you'll contribute to new knowledge, to impacting communities that need your leadership, and to making higher education better and more inclusive. We need you and your voice. Continue to make us proud. We offer you our heartiest congratulations. So now it's time to meet the 13th cohort, our D13s. Um, Stacy has mentioned this, Persis has also mentioned it. Many guests at this event say hearing from the fellows is the highlight of the program. So to explain how this will go, all of the fellows, the D13s, have been asked to introduce themselves, to tell you about their academic interests and how DARE will contribute to realizing their aspirations. They'll go in alphabetical order, beginning with Lauren Abrahams. Lauren, please begin. Thanks, Anika. My name is Lauren Abrahams, and I'm a PhD student in geophysics working with Eric Dunham. My research is on numerical modeling of natural hazards with a focus on earthquake-driven tsunami generation. When I reflect on my career leading up to this point and where I'll be going in the future, I'm excited, grateful, and a little terrified. I'm the youngest of five and the second of my siblings to go to college and the first of my family to be an engineer. During my undergrad, I constantly was thinking, where will I go from here? with a big question mark after graduation. It was a long road learning what it means to be a PhD student. And even now, I'm so grateful for the ongoing support I received to help me through this process. After graduation, just around the corner, I'm thankful to dare be a DARE scholar, to help me with the next steps in my journey and to help guide my understanding and what it means to be a faculty member and to be part of a community that we will support each other as we complete our doctoral degrees. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is AJ Alvaro. I'm a PhD candidate in the Graduate School of Education. I work with Mitchell Stevens, Anthony Antonio, and Ben Domingue. Uh, I study fairness and sociocultural issues as they pertain to data science and college admissions. Um, and to do this work, I use a large data set of college admissions essays. Um, I'm excited to be a part of DARE because DARE will prepare me uh, for success as a professor. And I'm also hoping that it's going to teach me the things that I need to know that I don't know yet that I need to know, uh, if you could follow that uh, thread. Um, I'm really excited and really happy to be here. Um, yeah, thank you all very much. Hi, <clears throat> hi everyone. My name is Luis Arnona. 
I'm a fifth year PhD student in the economics department, and my primary advisor is Matthew Jenskow. I study education markets, mostly in the context of structural economics models, which allow me to evaluate the effects of policies uh, being implemented in the real world that we haven't, uh, that we have no data for. So for example, my primary paper is on how the federal government could redesign federal student aid in order to improve uh, outcomes for students. What I appreciate most about DARE is that it's going to give me the tools that I need to prepare for maybe some of the pitfalls that might be present in academia and navigating that profession. And of course, the extremely generous uh, financial aid, which is going to allow me to focus on perfecting my research projects. Thank you all very much. Hey, everyone. Um, my name is Tyler, he, him. I'm in the psychology department, advised by Anthony Wagner and Dan Yamans. My research integrates biologically plausible computational models, neural data, and animal behavior in order to understand human memory systems. As we know, the academy is not a haven from injustice. Far from it. So many of the institutional and interpersonal inequalities that we experience throughout society are here as well, continuing to shape our intellectual, emotional, and professional lives. I'm in, I'm in dare to learn how to better strategize around changing these institutions, to find a cohort of academics committed to this kind of transformation, and to learn how to keep myself healthy and happy and whole in this process. I'm in dare to find community and to be a part of an academic community that not only acknowledges what my ambitions are, but also where they come from. Thank you. Greetings, y'all. My name is Christopher Cameron. I'm a PhD student in mechanical engineering, and my advisor is Thomas Kenny. I love that guy, he's a great guy. So basically my work is I improve micro device performance for commercial and military applications. You know, when I think about my journey to Stanford and getting to this point to become a DARE fellow, I think about the times where I had to share a bed with my brother and my mom, and we grew up with no AC down in South Florida. And to be here at this point, to be considered amongst some of the top students at the school, at one of the top schools in the world, because I possibly have potential to be a professor, that's, that's beautiful and it's humbling. And I feel like DARE gives me the opportunity to sharpen myself, to prepare myself, so that way when I go out and pursue an academic career, I can inspire another kid from South Florida who also doesn't have air conditioning. Hi everyone, my name is Rosa Chavez. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a fifth year doctoral candidate in curriculum and teacher ed at the Graduate School of Education. My advisor is Dr. Jennifer Langro Suna, and I also love her very much and so excited to get to work with her. Um, my research focuses on the ways that mathematics teachers engage in sense making around educational policies to inform their instruction. And ultimately, I'm interested in the learning opportunities that teachers make available for black and brown students to see themselves as learners and doers of math. My dissertation looks at how third and fourth grade teachers make sense of standardized assessments and distance learning policies to support the development of positive mathematical dispositions for Latinx students. I am honored to be a DARE fellow, and I know that the DARE program is going to provide me a network and support system to thrive as a woman of color in the academy. I also look forward to engaging in interdisciplinary scholarship with other D13s who are committed to challenging and transforming academic Hello everybody. My name is Wendy De La Rosa. I am a fifth year PhD candidate in marketing at the business school and I have the honor and pleasure of being co-advised by Jennifer Acker and Ad Edmar Simonson. My research really focuses on how consumers, particularly low-income consumers, think about their resources and how these resource perceptions fundamentally impact their spending behaviors. So in my dissertation, I focus on how variations in how people get paid. So if you're like a lot of low income consumers, if you get paid daily or weekly versus biweekly or monthly, how does that change your perceptions of how much resources you have and ultimately change your spending behavior? Next year, I'll be starting as an assistant professor at the Wharton School of Business. 
one of the things that I was really excited about joining the DARE community was to have a support system and a community system. So in my first couple of years at the business school, I was the only black student across the entire PhD program, across every single field. And it was a very lonely experience. And even in the short time that I've been in, within invited into the DARE community, I have felt so supported and I have truly felt at home within the Stanford community. And I'm very excited to uh, continue my involvement. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. My name is Brooke Durham, and I am a PhD student in history. My advisor is JP Dotton. I study decolonization in Algeria, and my dissertation is a social history at, of the end of the French Empire in Algeria and concerns local groups in which Europeans and Algerians worked together to solve pressing social problems between 1945 and 1965. I'm very excited to be a DARE fellow and to take advantage of this amazing community as I learn more about how academia can work for me and what it means to be an academic leader today. This fellowship is truly an awesome opportunity to build interdisciplinary solidarities and to reflect on the state of the academy today, as well as ways in which we can be active agents for change. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Eric Gonzalez. Um, I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in mechanical engineering, advised by Professor Sean Fulmer. My research focuses on haptic devices for virtual reality. Um, broadly, I explore how we can use these devices to make interactions in VR feel more physically real um, and how we can use uh, perceptual illusions and studying perception to uh, improve this experience. Uh, I'm incredibly grateful to be a DARE Fellow this year. Uh, I really think the program will help give us all the tools, um, knowledge, and network needed to best prepare each of us for our future careers. And most importantly, um, as others have mentioned, I think the community in this program is uh, built by this program is really invaluable. And uh, I just really look forward to continuing to be inspired and motivated by these other uh, incredible students. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sandra Habtimu. I am a graduate uh, of the master's program in history and a PhD candidate PhD candidate in the Graduate School of Education. My advisor is Sam Weinberg. My qualifying research allowed me to collaborate with a local school district as they strengthen their culturally relevant curriculum, specifically to tailor for African American students. And my dissertation will be on the Black Panther Party's Oakland Community School. Um, I'm Glad to be a DARE fellow because it allows me to really sit down and think about who I am as a scholar and a researcher and an educator. Um, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Esteli Hafoka, and I'm a fifth year in the Department of Religious Studies working with Catherine Jin Lum who I think is the greatest human being in the world if we're all talking about how great our advisors are. My work focuses on the nexus of religion and race for Tongans in America. In my dissertation, I argue that religion is essential to understanding Tongan collective identity here in America. Like many of my D13 cohort members, my larger career goal is to teach at a research university. Although my department de de dedicates a few colloquia each year to job development, anxiety among graduate students regarding the job market preparedness remains high. Although we're only a month into our DARE seminars, I've already been introduced to what Rockmore and Les Lofley call the game and look forward to learning these hacks on how to master my technique and play to win. I'm most excited about joining DARE's prestigious network of scholars, particularly my, fellow, my fellows here in the trenches um, over the next two years. Go D13, thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Krehalis Eber. I'm in the Department of Applied Physics and my research advisor is Pat Burkett. As a cosmologist, I would like to understand a mysterious thing that physicists call dark energy. 
This thing is responsible for our universe expanding at an ever increasing rate. I engage in this research in a large international collaboration, but my focus is on making very precise measurements of how matter in the universe is organized and clumped together on cosmological scales. These measurements will allow us to test our theory predictions and see whether we have a good understanding of what this dark energy might be or whether we're missing something key. I'm really honored to be in this cohort of wonderful people and scholars. I'm looking forward to building our DARE community as we already have started over the past month, gaining valuable perspectives on how to structure my own academic career and having important conversations about the changes that I would like to see in academia. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tao Large. I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemistry, where my thesis advisor is Dan Stack. Uh, and my research uses a combination of spectroscopy, computational modeling, and biomimetic synthesis to study how life uses copper to capture oxygen from the environment and harness it to perform chemistry with a level of efficiency that is currently unsurpassed. Um, while I aspire to continue on through a productive, independent academic career, I also view science as an enterprise in which personal contributions inevitably pale in comparison to the cumul cumulative achievements of the community. Um, I am particularly grateful to join DARE as a program that places commensurate emphasis on personal achievements and contributions to improving ac the academic enterprise as a whole. Over the past few weeks, I've been continually inspired by the incredible cohort of DARE fellows and the environment this program has built. I'm excited to learn from each member of this community and to see what this group will accomplish in our time together here and beyond. Thank you all very much. Hi everybody, my name is Koji Lao Zhao and I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in the Department of Anthropology where my advisor is Barbara Voss. My research focuses on the archaeology of the Japanese diaspora, and specifically my dissertation focuses on the Gila River uh, incarceration camp, Japanese American incarceration camp, where my grandparents were held during World War II. I look at landscaping efforts and gardens built by incarcerees, as well as the material culture that helped facilitate the building and maintenance of communities at the camp. I'm excited about the DARE program, um, in order to help learn about the often nebulous structure of universities that we're going to prepare ourselves to work in and most excited about the incredible community that uh, we're all joining right here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Danielle McCarthy and I am a fourth year PhD candidate in chemistry uh, working in W.E. Murner's lab. Our lab's focus is super resolution imaging tools, uh, which were the subject of the 2014 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, co won by my advisor, WE. Uh, we use these tools to study biological samples with exquisite resolution that enables us to answer the burning questions in biology. Uh, for example, I have already had the pleasure of exploring cell migration uh, and looking at how cells organize their genome within the nucleus. In my current project, I'm applying these tools to study cancer immunotherapy, which is an exciting new class of cancer treatments that involves activating a patient's own immune system to eradicate cancer within the body. I am incredibly honored to be joining the DARE cohort of D13s. Uh, DARE has already been an instrumental part of my graduate training, and I look forward to learning more practical tips, knowledge, and skills for succeeding in academia and expanding my community of scholars um, as I make my way through the arduous journey that is academia. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn Pena. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a fourth year PhD student in the immunology program over at the School of Medicine. I work in Dr. Sherry Krams' lab, who is also pretty great. And I study the immune system and the immune response to Epstein-Barr virus. Um, I apply different high dimensional analyses to better characterize responsive and natural killer cell subsets. And this additional insight uh, brings us closer to understanding the mechanism behind the natural killer cell response to Epstein Barr virus and will help us understand how we can apply this in a transplant setting. So, in addition to my work in the lab, I'm also very involved in working to make the School of Medicine a more welcoming and inclusive space. And so I'm very honored to be a DARE fellow where the lessons I learned and the connections I make in the next two years will be instrumental 
in preparing me to continue this important work throughout my different, the different stages of my academic journey towards becoming a professor. I already feel super welcomed within my wonderful D13 cohort, and I look forward to being a part of this wonderful community of scholars. Uh, thank you very much. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Perez, a fourth year PhD candidate working with Professor Goodson in the Mechanical Engineering Department. Our uh, research deals with understanding thermal transport at the nanoscale. So a huge part of our efforts lie in making difficult measurements with laser-based techniques to evaluate the properties of nanostructured materials. Some of our main goals are to provide engineers and scientists with the data they need, as well as discover new ways to reduce energy consumption in devices. So to me, there is a unique opportunity to connect with people from similar backgrounds and really figure out how to navigate academia together. Uh, you know, as a non-traditional student, I've always asked myself, you know, do I really belong here? Uh, should I just get a job and stay out of trouble? Am I really meant for higher education? Uh, but being offered a spot with their community really cemented my decision to strive toward a path in academia. With the help of the DARE Alumni Network, uh, the learning modules, and my faculty resource advisor, Professor Solgard, I feel I'm in the best position to reach my goals and set even better ones in the future. I appreciate the time and thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Priscilla San Juan. I'm a fourth year PhD candidate in the Department of Biology in the Ecology and Evolution track. Uh, my advisor is Tadashi Fukami, a community ecologist. So as um, an ecologist working in that lab, I'm particularly interested in how, um, what rules and factors govern the assembly processes and the microbial communities in particular um, within wildlife and um, especially interested in how human disturbances could impact these very important communities that live within wildlife. Um, and I'm extremely thrilled to be part of D13. I remember when I found out, I was like, no way, this is so, I, I, I really wanted this and like, um, and I'm just so glad to be part of this community. And I'm looking forward to um, joining this family and um, honestly uh, looking for a hype crew and providing that support for everyone else as well and um, almost like a reminder that of the reasons why I choose to be in academia. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Olivier Simon. I'm a PhD candidate in the physics department working under the supervision of Savas Demopoulos in theoretical particle physics. Uh, my work focus, focuses on finding observable evidence for various extensions to our standard model of the fundamental building blocks of nature. Currently, I look at how uh, extreme gravitational environments like black holes or the primordial universe can function as factories for new particles. Uh, I hope there will help me identify my place within academic physics. Lord knows physics is hard, but I hope my struggles today can help others uh, tomorrow. And that's what keeps me going. Uh, I'm excited about the program and honored to be a part of D13. Thank you. Hello all. Uh, this is going to be short and sweet. Uh, I'm Adam Michael Anthony Simpson from Kingston, Jamaica, born and raised. I'm a fifth year PhD candidate in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department and my principal investigator uh, is Professor William Mitch. Uh, I study food disinfection byproducts, which is the unintentional transformation of food biopolymers and molecules due to disinfection processes with chemical sanitizers. Uh, these compounds are toxicologically relevant. DARE is educating me of the responsibilities of a professor so I can be prepared for the job market. Thank you. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lynn Chutney. I am a PhD student in the Electrical Engineering Department and I'm advised by Professor Sylvia Savarise, who is the actual best advisor in the world. Um, my research area is uh, 3D computer vision, uh, a subfield of um, artificial intelligence uh, focused on algorithms that understand uh, images and 3D models of the world captured by cameras and 3D sensors. Uh, for my thesis, I am developing a, a system that generates a photorealistic 3D model of a real world scene using one or multiple images as input. Um, I hope to pursue an academic career and I'm really excited to be part of there this year. 
I hope the program will help increase my understanding of the academic system, how to navigate it and succeed in it. I am especially, especially excited to share this journey with other fellows in my cohort and plug into the larger community of their fellows and alumni. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Maha Yusuf. I was born in rural Pakistan in a lower middle class Muslim family. Currently, I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Stanford. Here, I work with Professor Lambertus Hesseling in the EE department, Mike Tony, and Johanna Wecker at SLAC. And in my research, I use imaging diagnostic tools to understand the function and failure mechanisms of lithium ion batteries so that we can develop batteries that can be fast charged. We believe that this work will enable charging an EV or electric vehicle similar to you fueling up your gasoline car at a gas station. There is a life-changing experience. Besides providing me the enormous financial support to finish my PhD, there is equipping me with skills and tools to succeed in my future academic career. And I'm very honored to be part of this cohort. Thank you so much. Wow, now you see why we're so excited and honored to support this newest group of fellows. They each have unique talent, commitment, and passion. We're eager to be by their side to support their aspirations. So before closing, I'd like to give a few acknowledgements. As you can imagine, a program of this caliber needs leaders with genuine dedication. So of course, I'd like to thank Stacy Bent, our Vice Provost, for her steadfast commitment and support uh, of DARE and other um, programs in, within VPGE. Um, I'd like to thank faculty and administrators who served on the DARE Selection Advisory Committee. A special thank you to Anthony Antonio, who served as the faculty chair of the DARE selection process. Chris Goldie, um, Chris and I have partnered since DARE began and she was instrumental in co-creating the program. She also teaches our DARE courses with her expertise in doctoral education and preparing future faculty initiatives. Uh, members of the VPGE team, I'd like to thank Blanca Vare, who helps with the day-to-day -day operations of DARE, Vanessa Shumsky, who coordinates this event every year and also helps with DARE operations. And then Rebecca Jansen and Justina Starznik for managing the finances and the funds transfers. Thank you all for joining us in this celebration and thank you for your ongoing support of DARE. DARE fellows, we will see you in a few moments. We're having a DARE only community connection. Please remember to connect using the Zoom link that Vanessa sent. And to all of our guests, Again, thank you for coming and have a lovely evening.